Poof. It is gone. 60% of my family's income is gone. My phone rings. It's my boss. I'm sorry, Sherlyn, but your position has been eliminated. I collapse into the chair in my office, and with heavy, salty tears streaming down my face, I bury my head in my hands and say, Poof. It is gone. That day, all hell started breaking loose as the biggest trial my life, my marriage, and my family had ever faced just hit. Now what? How will I get through this? How will we pay the bills? Is it going to be okay? How do I know it is going to be okay? That day I was paralyzed by my circumstances. Frozen with fear and filled with endless questions. That day I lost a grip on all I was juggling. I lost who I was, and my life and my finances became a hot mess. I realized climbing the corporate ladder was not what my life was about, not anymore. Over the next five years, everything changed, where I lived, where I worked, who I hung out with, and what I thought about myself, what I believed about God, and even how I prayed. It all changed. Now, things are different for me. Instead of being paralyzed by my circumstances, I am equipped, facing anything that comes my way. Instead of being frozen with fear, I have an unshakable faith. Instead of being filled with endless questions, I have answers, or I know where to get them. Maybe for you, it wasn't a job loss, maybe it was something else. My story is not unique, we are all hit by trials. The difference is what we do with them. And I believe you can turn your trials into triumph because I've done it. I've come out the other side of the mess, a warrior. And through it, I discovered how to triumph, how to fight back, how to overcome, how to break through the chaos spinning in my life, and looking back, being laid off was one of the best things that happened to my family and me. For the past 15 years, I've helped hundreds of people just like you not only survive the trials but use them, learn from them, and get breakthrough for ourselves and others. Whether you barely survived your trials, you got through it okay, but it could be better, or you could use more ways to be an overcomer. I can help. In this book, I'm going to teach you how to. ROE are back. You can stop the chaos swirling in your life and make sure it doesn't come back. And you control it by learning how to roar back at your circumstances. I remember watching a documentary on lions, and something struck me, penetrating my heart on a deep, deep level. The narrator explained, lions mark their territory with their roar. They majestically pace on patrol, surveying the land they are entrusted to protect, ensuring those they love are safe from threats. Intruders meet a thunderous roar. A declaration so impressive and terrifying, carrying authority and purpose, it is forceful, confident, and unyielding. He alerts all of his presence, and his roar is a warning that he will defend his territory. Even the gentlest of purrs make the little hairs on the back of your neck stand up, but at its fullness, your knees knock and tremble. It is no wonder his enemies retreat at the slightest echo of his nearness. What an imprint, one that I marinated on for days and would soon awaken the lion in me. About a month later, a powerful key of breakthrough unlocked in me as I heard Chuck Pierce, of Glory of Zion Church in Denton, Texas say, the enemy won't go away if you don't roar back at him. He'll hide and stalk you. You will feel him around you. That's it. That is what I need to tap into, I need to find my roar, that voice inside of me that speaks with confident boldness, which stands up in my authority, backed by the full presence of God, and firmly confronts my circumstances. A roar that sends all those doubts, fears, and anxieties packing. A roar that overcomes the worries. Lions are not messed with, and when we roar back, neither are we. It is that roar that I want to help you find too. So let's learn to roar together. Roar is a four-part framework. R equals respond. First, we have to know how to respond. O equals overcome obstacles. Second, we have to learn how to overcome the obstacles. A equals apply. Third, we apply what we've learned from previous seasons. R equals reveal. And last, we reveal our story to others. What does it mean to roar? To overcome everything we have to face, the trials we are dealing with, we do it with bravery and courage. We have to dig deep and know our identity, both who we are and whose we are, so we can stand in authority. The process that God walked me through was teaching me how to roar, to roar back at my circumstances, to find my voice, and to make the chaos swirling in my life stop. The framework above will give you a general idea and an easy acronym to remember during the stress heights. And when you learn to roar back, you are equipped to face whatever comes your way.